What's going on guys, Etika from the Etika World Network here to bring you some more Pokemon Showdown Live. We are going to be doing some battles today and um, we're going to be using the same team, but um, if you guys are keeping up with my team building project, we actually are working on a team underneath the scenes of it all, so this next team should be ready in the next few days, so don't worry, I'm going to be changing up the team quite soon. I just feel like my skill level is totally dependent on how well I know how to use the certain Pokemon that I'm using. So that's how I feel like I'm really good with this team. But we're just gonna look for some more battles and um, things will work out. Like, well, as you guys can see, the same squad pretty much. And, oh, and I have the Misty avatar too, you know? That's that's a big plus, I feel. You know, after all, Misty is the best Poke Girl. So um, anyways, now looking at this guy's squad, he's got Ferrothorn, uh, hmm. He could most likely possibly lead with um you know what if he leads with um his charizard and if it's y means it would it be y it might just be y it might just be yeah it might just be charizard y if he leads with that barbarical can take out that with um with the focus sash and the um shell and the and the razor shell um it can take out the freaking heat ran if it really needs to it can take out tyranitar it can take out all these guys Pretty much one fighting really goes through his team. Fighting hits the Ferrothorn, the the Tyranitar, the Heatran, and the um, Excadrill. Yeah, this is going to be Barbarical's lead totally. He goes out there with Charizard, so that is fine. That works out pretty well for me. I am now going to go for the Razor, the Shell Smash right away. Hope if he's Charizard X, that'll be a problem. But then again, if he's Y, the Sun is going to kind of blot out the fact that you know he's going to um, not really take super effective damage from the razor shell thanks to the sunlight but it'll still be some good damage either way I don't really feel too bad in letting Barbarical go right now because all these Pokemon are threats and if I can take out one of them then that'll be totally fine with me he, he's going for the solar beam straight off the bat so alright I see that this Charizard is not mega evolving for some damn reason I don't know why but I'm just going to go for the razor shell now because I don't know what this Charizard's doing with his life this is gonna kill him totally. Yeah, I don't know what this guy was thinking, but um, yeah, that's going to that's going to put a hole in his um Charizard. He should have gone Mega. He forgot to Mega evolve. He said in the chat. Ah, uh, damn. Well, sorry about that, bro. Shit happens. Um, I'm going to dick break this thing now. Should do a lot of damage. 83. Oh, and he's got Power Whip. Oh, oh the Power Whip missed. Oh. <laughs> this guy's getting axed all over the place. Okay, he said, okay, this game is chopped. <laughs> oh, man. That's crazy. That's crazy. Oh, man. Um, alright, let's just go for the, um... Let's just go for the, uh, Brick Break again. Dick, dick Break, excuse me. I, I, let me get my moves correct if I'm going to say them, you know? <laughs> oh, man. This guy, I feel bad for this guy. I feel very uh, bad for this guy. But hey, I'm not gonna quit it, because at the end of the day, you know, I mean, I'm not really playing for ranking on this account, but hey, you know, I mean, mistakes happen. Everyone has a bad day once in a while where they accidentally choose a certain option over another. It happens. That's the way the game works out, man. Um, so I guess this is going to be a pretty easy sweep by Barbarical for the most part. Although with the Sand Rush, his, um, his Excadrill most likely might outrun me. I'm curious to see if the extra drill will outrun me because you know I know in sand um, with sand rush its speed is really increased, so this thing just might be a problem. Uh, let's go for the let's go for the dick break. It's going to be more accurate damage rather than the razor shell, which has a chance to miss. Oh yeah, he's faster in the sand. Wow, damn it! Extra drill is really really fast in the sand. All right, this is good for um, this is good for information, so I can know what will outspeed this thing. So now let's hit him with the um, with the baby doll eyes. You know, lower his attack damage a little bit. He's probably oh okay. You see that Furfro taking that damage really really nicely, and um, he's most likely probably going to try to go for a sword dance. So let's hit him with a roar so this way this guy doesn't have any chance to get higher damage off on me because it's bad enough that Furfro's leftovers are um, it's bad enough that Furfro's leftovers are kind of being negated by the sand. So now this Azumarill kind of bothers me as well too. It's... I don't really need to Thunder Wave it because all my Pokemon are going to be faster than this guy, so most likely the Toxic would be the better option on him. And the guy, he... I, um, you guys can't see the chat right now, but the guy just asked in the chat, How did you outspeed me with baby doll eyes? <sighs> Niggas need to do their research, man. Niggas need to, you know, they ain't doing their research on Pokemon, man. Um, I'll tell them, baby doll eyes is priority. And, um, now... 
Bazuma Rail is naturally slow, like I said, so let's just hit him with the Toxic. It'll do some extra damage. You know, that's totally fine. Belly Drum? Knockoff. Okay. Okay, that's fine. That is A O A K, my friend. Now, let's hit him with some more baby doll eyes. Eat Ran? Okay. That is fine. He's got the um, stealthies on my side of the field, but I'm not too bothered by it. Let's just hit this Heat Ran with a Thunder Wave. He most likely doesn't think that we have Thunder Wave because he already saw that we have Toxic, so he's not going to really expect us to carry dual utility, I'm hoping. But then again, it's not too uncommon, so let's just see what this guy does. I'm surprised he hasn't forfeited the game yet, but you know, at least he plays by the standard of, you know, the game isn't over until it's over. And I feel very strongly behind that because, you know, if he had just chalked it up to, oh, oh, I automatically lost, he wouldn't have known that his X drill would outspeed my, um, Barbarical, you know, so you never really know until you get in there, man. There's, there's no way to really know that kind of stuff. And now he's gonna keep going for the Earth Power, probably expecting me to, um... Oh, man. Okay, so now, let's see, let's see. Heat Ran is going to be a bit of a problem to deal with because we do not have Barbarical alive anymore. Damn, this thing really freaking... This thing is really a problem for me now that I think about it. Goddamn. Hmm. Um... Let's see here, let's see here. Um, we're gonna go for the... I shouldn't have given away Barbarical so easy. But then again, I didn't know Barbarical would get out, um, outran by the um, Excadrill, so now I know. So next time, I know just to go straight into my Furfro. Lessons learned, you know? It does. It's not like I don't have an answer for um, Heat Ran. I do have an answer for Heat Ran in the form of Barbarical, but it was my foolishness thinking that Barbarical would outspeed the Excadrill in the sand, which caused me to lose it. So Heat Ran would have been taken care of if it wasn't for that. Lessons learned, but now I have a problem on my hands. I don't even have any stealth rocks. Okay, he got paralyzed, thankfully, so at this point now, I'm going to go into my, um, I'm going to go into my Metagross and see if I can get up some stealthies, but I don't know, I don't want to, because he's getting a lot of switching, so I don't know how well I'm going to take any moves from this guy, but okay, all right, so he went for the Heat Ran. Now, I'm going to kind of scare him to see if he, um, let's just set up our stealth rocks. Maybe I should have had the um, earthquake, but it's all good. It, it's all good. And now, I want to I want to test to see if he has his. Um, I want to test to see if he has the um, the heat wave. No, no, he has a no. I mean, not the heat wave. Um, the um, I was going to test to see if he has a choice card, but of course he doesn't. Obviously. So let's see here. I do have stealth rocks on this side of the field. Damn, man, this is going to be tough. I should have saved Barbarical. That was a bad move on my part. Let's see. At this point now, how can we take out this Heat Ram? Perhaps if, um... Hmm. No, this is going to be tough. Let's just go for... Let's just go for... Because, you know, Houndoom will be able to take out... Um, Houndoom will be able to take out Excadrill, no problem. And then we have Furfro to help, but right now... This heat ram is going to be the biggest issue here, so you know what? Let's just go for a, a knockoff straight. It won't do that much damage, but it'll do something to the guy. He's got the fire blast, of course. All right, that's fine with me. And now we can go in there with Metagross and hit him with what? <laughs> uh, let's see. Let's see. Now let's see. We can go in there with my. Um, let's go in there with the Scavalier. Should we go in there with the Scavalier? Yeah, at this point, I don't know how much I can do against this guy. So let's go in there with Metagross. Damn, I really should not have given up Barbarical because that Razor Shell, he's paralyzed. It would have KO'd, it always KO's Heat Ram with one hit. I mean, that's the problem. Barbarical, as soon as I see Heat Ram, I should have saved Barbarical. Instead, I totally bypassed the thought of Barbarical and went straight into it, playing recklessly as hell, even though I did get a little bit of a sweep going. But Ferrothorn could have been handled easily by Houndoom and other Pokemon that didn't really require Barbarical taking so much damage. So that was really foolish on my part. Let's hit this guy with the Zen Headbutt. Fuck it. We have a chance to flinch at him, right? I think. Alright, and um, hit him with the Zen Headbutt. That is good. That is very, very good. We have, uh, hmm. We got um, Furfro now. I don't know. This extra drill is going to be very, very tough to play around. So let's see, let's see. Maybe we can go into my Excavalier. Or is he going to get threat is he going to see this as a chance to sword dance? 
He just might. He just might. I don't know. But if he does sword dance, that'll suck. Okay, he didn't sword dance. That's fine. Let's go for a Scavalier now. You know, this Excadrill is still going to do a lot of damage to me, but, um... It's okay. It's okay. Alright, let's go for two knockoffs. Will two knockoffs kill you? I don't know. I don't know. Rapid spin. Damn. Okay. That is totally fine. The entry has the damages. That's, that's fine. That's fine. I can deal with that being gone. Let's go for a knockoff. Let's go for another knockoff. Yeah. Another knockoff sounds good. He, I wonder what he's going to do. Okay, an earthquake? That, I can handle that. It's a good thing I didn't go for a sword dance because I was thinking about it. I was saying to myself, you know, maybe I should go for a sword dance to be able to get some extra damage off on something else that comes in. But it's a good thing I didn't do that because that would have been ugly. Ugly. All right. Now we are lacking here when it comes to... Um, hmm. He's got priority in the form of a zoomer rule. No, no, no doubt at all. So... If we stay in there with the Scavalier, will we be able to outspeed this guy? I don't know, especially if he's invested in speed, but then again, what Heat Ram is invested in speed? If a Scavalier is able to outspeed Heat Ram, then what would be the best option here? Iron Head to potentially get the flinch, but he quad resisted. He's most likely going to go for the fire move or the ground move. He's most likely looking at me as I'm going to switch, but he's got a Zoomeril, so he might just feel like he's got this in the bag and no problem. It might just be better for us to go for the knockoff here. It might just be. If I had Earthquake or Metagross. <laughs> oh, man. I mean, sure, I guess you could say if I had Earthquake or Metagross. But if I had... Um, but if I had played better with Barbarical, Heat Ram wouldn't be a problem. So it's not necessarily a fault or an issue on Metagross's side. But it's an issue on my side knowing that Barbarical was the only counter to Heat Ram. I mean, well, not a counter, but it was the only check for Heat Ram. It might just be better for it to go for the knockoff, but then again, we don't get a flinch chance. So let's just go for Iron Head to get a possible flinch chance. And then maybe we can go for a knockoff after that. Okay, good. Now let's go for knockoff. It'll do a little bit more damage. Okay, that's fine. And now that he's got... Okay, let's see. So now let's go into Houndoom. The only thing that we can do at this point is go for a... Um, go for... Uh, Dark Pulse. So let's do that. Let's do that. Dark Pulse. Let's go. Should we do that? Or maybe he'll go into his Azumarill. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's, he's gonna stay in. He's gonna stay in. Wait a minute. What? Oh, oh. Oh boy. I did that with a smidgen. Damn. All right. Dark Pulse. One more time. Wait, 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 wait. No, no, no. Wait, wait, wait. No, no, we gotta stay in. There's no way we can do anything else. We could go for a Sucker Punch. Oh, oh, oh Dark Pulse, yeah. All right, that's fine. Now, at this point, here's where things are really going to come down to the wire because I'll be able to outspeed him. His, I'll be able to outspeed his Aqua Jet with my Sucker Punch. That'll be able to happen, no problem. But then it's reliant on if the damage from the Sucker Punch and the toxic damage thereafter will put him in a range where he can be killed with a Bullet Punch that's Choice Banded. That'll be the question. That'll be everything it comes down to. Sucker Punch will do some damage to him, but it, w it definitely won't freaking do enough. Will this Azumarill be able to be taken out by a Choice Band Bullet Punch? Maybe if he wasn't um, resisted to it, thanks to the water typing. But hey, you know what? Bullet Punch time. Fuck it. Let's go. Uh, boy. This is going to be crazy. Yeah, it wasn't enough. It wasn't enough. Oh, well, that's still, that was still a very good game. Very, very good game. That deals to show you, man. It's never over till it's over. He said good game. Extremely fun. Yeah. Definitely fun. That was good. I like that game. It was a very interesting game there. It really, really goes to show you, man. Even if somebody has a clean sweep going, you never give up until the end. And my, my issue with... My issue is basically making sure that I have certain Pokemon alive for certain threats. It wasn't necessary to take Ferrothorn out with Barbarical. I got Houndoom for that. That's no problem. But... There was a lot of ways I could have played better in that. I know everyone's gonna say Metagross Earthquake, you know, but then again, he switched on Metagross with his Heat Ran anyway, so what was the point? Although I know the Earthquake probably would have been able to hit Extra Drill super effective, and Extra Drill was doing a lot of damage. I feel like even though the Earthquake may have just been better on the guy, at the same time, Barbarical, man. I was playing foolishly with this guy. 
I, I should have switched out, but it's all good. Anyways, let us look for another battle. That was really damn good. I like that game a lot.